Today's video is about Streptococcus pneumoniae that is pneumococcus. This scene is about a man who has come to this place in search of new money. The new money has been represented by a box of gold coins. So this new money will remind us of pneumococcus. Let's start with the morphological features. You can see a lot of blue color in this scene. The blue color represents gram positive bacteria. Also the man is wearing a blue cap. The cap symbolizes that it is a capsulated bacteria. You can see the man has set up a fireplace. The two flames represent the flame shape of the bacteria, which is also called lanceolate shape. Being arranged in pairs, these flames represent that these organisms are diplococci. Now the large pink quill on the top of the van and the ink spilled on the ground represent two very important reactions which demonstrate the capsule of the bacteria. The large quill represents quillung reaction and the dark colored ink spilled on the ground is India ink which is a negative stain. Let's talk about the media and colony characters now for which we will look near the treasure. So you can see there is spillage of blood near the treasure. Maybe because the snake has killed some animals there or something else. So the blood represents that this bacteria grows well on blood agar. Also there are a lot of gold coins in the treasure. The gold coins can be compared to the carom coin appearance of the colony of these bacteria, which is also called Drotsman appearance. Coming to the biochemical reactions of pneumococci, you can see a box of oil near the van, which is labeled as BioSafe. Here, the word bio stands for bile, inulin, and optogen. This will help us to remember that pneumococci is positive for bile solubility, inulin fermentation, and optogen sensitivity. And here is also a snake which stands for his serum slope which is used to test fermentation. Let us look at the diseases caused by pneumococci. It can be remembered by the mnemonic mops. You can see the man is holding a mop to scare away the snake. The word mops stands for meningitis, otitis media, pneumonia and sinusitis. Coming to the drugs used in treatment of pneumococcal infections, these are penicillin, vancomycin, etc. You can see pen and paper on the ground near the treasure which may have been used by the man to calculate the amount of gold he has gained. So the pen will remind you of penicillin and the van parked behind will remind you of vancomycin. Penicillin resistant strains are known to occur. Let me know if you like my content by giving your like or comment. Also, if you want to stay for more, do not forget to hit the subscribe button.